I want to show you how to mail an Illustrator document to your instructor via the email system that your instructor has provided at, <clears throat> in the papers that you downloaded at the beginning of the semester from our website. This is important because we need to uh, compress this information that we're making, these documents. They're, they're very big documents. There's a lot of things in them, and it causes them to be very, very large, which means when you send them over the internet, they uh, take a lot of time to download and to store. It's just uh, handling a whole lot of packages. We can compress them from an Illustrator document into a JPEG document, and they, they email much faster. They download and they, they uh, are stored in a much smaller space. So if I was finishing the first project, that quilt project, and I have this on my computer. You can see I've got the regular page within the, the uh, artwork uh, designated. The rest is just stuff I've worked on on the outside, and uh, it's in place to be finished off. And first of all, you want to save it to your saving place on your computer so that you have a copy for backup, and then you're going to make it a JPEG and send it to the instructor. Now, I've eliminated in this second. Uh, document everything but what's going to go on the actual artboard itself inside these black lines of an eight and a half by eleven size uh, format that we're working with. And you can see here I have now finished the document and the first thing I want to do is go up here in the Illustrator menu up on the top here, File, Save As. And you can save it wherever you want to. I'm going to save it to the, I'm going to go here and find the desktop. You see the desktop shows up here. And I want to save it to the desktop as an Adobe Illustrator format. So it'll be an AI on the end of it to say it's Adobe Illustrator. And whatever you want to call it, if, if you want to call it just uh, design, let's put design to quilt, or just the word quilt, so, something that's rememberable and you can re think of it quickly. Uh, if you made two or three designs, maybe you'd have quilt one, quilt two, quilt three. This information comes in by way of alphabet or numerical. Uh, a 1 comes before a 2, comes before a 3. An A comes before a B, before a C. So it's going to go to the desktop, and then from the desktop, I'm later going to put it in the file under some name that we're, I'm going to store the stuff I've done for this class and these weeks and that sort of thing. And it'll be formatted, it'll be Illustrator. It could be any number, an EPS, uh, a template, all these things. This isn't a bad one, the PDF, because it opens in Acrobat, but uh, we're going to save these as uh, JPEGs. So anyway, stay with Illustrator in the format in this first round. And when I hit save, uh, I'm doing this in the system of the CS5. Um, a lot of the stuff we have are showing are CS4, but CS5 is the latest one for now, and there'll be a CS6 and 7 down the road. And everything else is uh, as it comes by default. And so I'm saying OK to that. And you see over here shows up my little, uh, let's see, here's the glyph that says Quilt AI. And it's a copy of what I've got here. And now I can drag that off and put it in another folder or wherever I want to store it. I'll go with that. But that's too big a document. How big is that document? If I click on it and select it and hit Command I. It gives me information of this thing. It's a 1.1 megabyte. That, that's not bad, but I can compress it down as a JPEG, and it'll, it'll go faster through the system. So I'm going to um, turn that one off. Now, that's my saver. Here's my sender to the instructor. You go to we have to File. This time, go down to Export. That means you're going to take it off this system and get it ready to send somewhere else uh, in a different format. So it's File, Export, and we let go of that. Uh, it, it comes up as a ping, PNG. That's not what you want. Also, at this point, you need to give it the title that we are asking you to use for all of your work that you send. And that title is based on, the, this class is Art 1400, so I put a 14 hundred and then the shift key and the underscore because I want an underscore there and then the next thing I want is a capital X and a zero and a one 
that's the section that you happen to be placed in. Now there might be four sections, so you could be at XL1, XL2, XL3, XL4, depending on your instructor. Uh, that you'll, you'll know what section you're in because you, that's the class you registered for. But we need that so that we're sure that that student is in the right place, sending it to the right file. The next thing, uh, shift key and underscore, I want the, no the number of the project. In this case, this is project one. I don't need the name quilt. I don't need colorful squares. I don't need anything because that just throws off how we store this in our files as you send them to us. With a file with your name on it, and there's project one and two and three and four and five, just as you labeled here with the 14x01 one. And then the last thing I want is your name, an underscore, and then let's say your last name is Smith. And so we have Smith. Now, uh, that's don't worry about the PNG, that's going to change as we change it. It is going to go to the desktop as opposed to any of the other places you could put it, it's going to be on the desktop. And here in format, I'm going to change that to JPEG. Now, JPEG is, was designed early on in the computer life as something for journalists to send their photographs by electronic uh, submission. I don't know what the G stands for, but it's a journalist photographs, electronic something. Doesn't matter, but it's designed to send large documents in a compressed form. It doesn't destroy the... the the document itself, it just makes it a smaller document and it easily sends. So by selecting that, you see it becomes a JPEG and the .jpg is the abbreviation for the big JPEG. And now I'm, I'm still going to send this to the desktop, but now under this name or, and under this uh, J JPEG format. So when I say export, and it's going to ask me a question here, how, what kind of quality I want. I want the highest quality, max quality. You could go medium or low, and it would even go faster, but I still want the max quality, uh, high resolution, and so it's going to come across as good a JPEG as we can make it. And I hit OK. Now notice here it comes over here on the desktop, and it's 1400X01, Project 1, Smith. Don't worry, put these project, just the numbers, all I'm interested in. And then Smith, your last name, whatever your last name is, and JPEG. Okay, now let's look at that one. That's a JPEG. I'm going to go, I selected Command-I. It'll tell me how big that is. Remember the other one was, uh, uh, well, let's see, it's a three megabytes on that one. Let's see what the Adobe Illustrator was. Command-I. It's 1.1 megabyte. That's interesting. Make that bigger. Doesn't matter. I still want you to send them by way of the JPEG. It's still going to be all right as it, as it uh, runs through and gets it done. Here's how you actually then send it to the instructor. Here's the JPEG sitting over here uh, on the hard, I'm looking past my Illustrator. I'm looking at my desktop. Now, to send this, I go to uh, my email system and I say I want a new one. And in the new one, I get. Uh, Whatever the email address is for your instructor, you put that right up in here. And then the subject. Now, in this case, I want you to call it the subject that uh, 1400 and the X01, or whatever section, and the number of the project, one, and your last name. If it's Smith, there it is. Now, if you want to put .jpg, fine because that, that, it's going to come across that way. Now in the attachments, you open that attachments box and you actually virtually go over here and get a hold of this uh, JPEG document. You click on it and drag it and put it in the box. The box will show up with little blue lines around it, meaning that you're in the box now. And when I let go, it uh, sets itself in there as a JPEG. And you can see it's 3.9 megabytes. That's a little large, but it'll come across. There's a lot of color in this uh, document that you made here. So that's why it's bigger than normal because there's just a, a lot of color and it's it'll send just fine. Now here in the message thing you could click yourself and say uh, instructor here is my uh, project one or you could send a multiple project. Instructor here's my project one and two and three and four. Whatever you drag and set in here within reason you can send those in one email. And, and whether you, maybe you have a question if it's a 
question you want to get an answer to, then you might put a question there. But generally, it takes just send it to the instructor. So you find your instructor email and put it uh, in the box with to, where it's going to go to to. It's from you, the student. Your name will appear there, but it will go to the instructor and the subject and the attachment. Don't forget to attach or it won't have it. And then whatever message you might want to have. And then you hit send and off it comes. So, your document then will send just like this to me when I open it, there it is, and away we go. Now, this takes place for all Illustrator documents. When we get to Photoshop, uh, there's another method we'll follow to get that done. But this makes it as a JPEG out of Illustrator coming to the instructor that goes into your file. So, do that with every Illustrator document and then follow the Photoshop and the InDesign documents as instructed later on.